the ant keeping world thank you very much for joining me this morning just let me know if that's nice and loud and clear for everybody the sleeping duck mac 2 alrighty welcome along to the live stream everybody fantastic to have you all here this morning so we've got a uh, fantastic live stream uh, for you guys which will be really nice. Um, I'm sure you will enjoy it. So we've got a beautiful colony here at the moment, but we'll do some introductions fairly soon. So we've got the beautiful Mimesia pilaventris colony in front of me here. Now that's pending after a little bit of investigation, but we'll worry about that one a little bit later on. So yeah, is the, the uh, audio coming through nice and loud, guys? Just let me know in the comments if it is. So you can hear me be fantastic yep excellent alrighty hopefully we don't have any little uh, internet issues this morning and everything streams nice and easily beautiful okay so first of all introductions so if you don't know Novo Ants is located right here in well, pretty close to Newcastle anyway um, Newcastle New South Wales Australia which is fantastic. Um, so, great little uh, place. We've got the vineyards nice and close. We've got some coal mining close as well, which is so-so, but hey, it keeps me in a job. Um, and yeah, it's about two hours north of Sydney, if you're not aware of all those people from overseas. Um, where's everyone from this morning? Where have we got people joining me from? Just let me know in the comments where you are. That'd be really good. And what we're trying to do this morning is get this live stream up to about 50 people if we can uh, joining us so if you've got any mates out there that can join us let everyone know okay let's have a look okay we've got sydney mr r from sydney fantastic excellent lmao from sweden wow fantastic mate that's awesome uh tycho oh boy Scholten from holland hope i got that right mate gamer bros from sydney ants and pets from the usa fantastic yeah, I've got some great support there from um, the USA. So I'm really happy that you guys could join me. I try to make these live streams at a time where everybody can, because I've got a lot of followers in Australia, in America, and also in the UK. I know it's pretty late in the UK, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I do like my sleep-ins, so I apologise for that. Okay. All right, who else have we got here? We've got France. Welcome. Bonjour. Vivi. Um... We have WA, Jacob Tompkins from WA. Fantastic, mate. Thanks for joining me this morning. One person, Chicago. Awesome. Very good. Creepy Gallery from the Blue Mountains. Oh, boy. In a hot spot, eh? All right. Well, welcome. <laughs> welcome along. Love the Blue Mountains. Beautiful place. Bonjour. Um, yeah, I speak a little bit of French, VV, so uh, don't test me too much, but I do speak a little bit of French. My father-in-law speaks fluent French is fantastic and I love France been there a few times so this morning what do you guys want to uh, want to know about ants this morning anything in particular any requests for colonies that you want to have a little look at this morning I've got some more videos coming and there's one colony which I'm not going to show you because I've got a video coming out on it it's brand new I've never seen a video on these guys before and I'm pretty excited um, some wonderful people sent it to me which is really good. Um, so yeah, definitely want to share that with you guys. Seb H from the France as well. Excellent. Amazing Animals Australia. Northern Beaches, Sydney. Boy, you guys have been popular recently. Um, KB Ants from the UK. Fantastic. Alrighty. What else have we got here? We've got uh, Retardo Panera Metallica Colony. Yeah, I'm sure I can do that. I'm sure I can show you guys that one. It should be pretty easy. They're um well, well and truly overdue. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to show you what I've got here in this colony. Now, is the picture coming through okay? Is it is it sort of clear enough for you guys? Just let me know. Because what I want to do is this colony that I just disturbed, which won't like me very much has some pretty cool new things. Now, 
Let me just double check up here on the chat and make sure that I've got everybody. We're up to 25 people. All right, let everyone know. Let's get it up to 50 this morning, hey? Super Bullen from Anchop Oz. Welcome, welcome along, Paul. Fantastic to have you here, mate. Really appreciate it. Uh, banded Sugar Ants. Yeah, did everyone enjoy the latest video on keeping banded sugar ants? I know it's probably not relevant to a lot of you guys overseas, uh, but I've been meaning to do one on that for quite some time, so I hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Noto Stigma. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's that's been an interesting journey since that video. Um, gee, there you go. There's some inside information for you guys on my live stream. She actually ate that larvae. So the larvae is gone, but she has laid some new eggs. So I probably won't show you her this morning because I don't want to disturb her anymore. I want to make sure that she keeps that brood alive. So I'm going to try and leave her alone as much as possible now. Um, it's a bit touch and go, and not many people know much about that species. So you'll see how we go. So yes, I'll show you my Retida Panera Metallica. I've also got my Golden Tail Sugar Ants here, which I can show you. Um, camera's kind of blurry. Sorry, Jacob. Yeah, I'm streaming from my iPhone here, and sometimes it doesn't give the best footage, but it's about all I can do at the moment. I'd like to set it up a little bit differently. Um, I don't think... Oh, there you go. Didn't even think I could do that. Here we go. I can zoom in a little bit. Still a little bit blurry for you guys. I'm sorry about that, but at least it gives you a little bit of an insight in there. Now, let's have a look here. Is pink water bad? Ewan Robertson, thanks for joining me, mate. Um, yeah, pink water, look, it's not great, um, but sometimes it won't harm. It basically means that um, mould has got into that water and it's, it's growing. It's like the algae sort of blooming there, so you've just got to be a little bit careful with that. Um, okay. Weekly dose of ants, get the blue bottle ants. Yeah, blue bottle ants, that's interesting. I'll have to do um, a bit of searching on that one as well. Ants and Pets, do you have Facebook? Yes, I do. So I've got a Facebook account you can follow. Um, I also have the Instagram. If you're not on there as well, I probably post fairly relatively to, evenly between those two. Let's see how we go. Um, okay, Mr. R, fantastic, mate. I'm glad that uh, helped you out there as well. Um, an amazing animal ants. Yes, just that test tube with that pink water. Just move them out of it. So... Basically, just get another test tube. Now, when you're setting up a test tube, the best thing to do is use distilled or bottled water to fill it up. When you're putting the cotton in there, just be really careful that you're not touching anything because mold grows from everywhere. So just get your cotton wool um, tweezers, perhaps, or just plug it in the end there and slide it down. Make sure your test tube is nice and clean. Um, disinfected, beautiful, um, make sure it's nice and clean and wash it out with some fresh um, water as well before you need to use it and dry it out nicely. Um, put that cotton wool in there and then you can basically connect that up to the old one. Expose the old one with your pink water to a little bit of light and hopefully your queen will just transfer over into the new, new test tube or she'll actually get that larvae or that brood and bring them over as well, depending at what stage your colony's in. But yeah, move them out of that pink pink water as soon as you can because it may not affect them but just in case it does you don't want to lose your queen I've lost plenty of queens and yeah it's heartbreaking when you lose lose one especially one that you've bought as well okay let's have a look here G ants welcome mate fantastic thanks for joining me this morning we're up to 30 we're up to 30 people hit that like button and let's see if we can get a few more ant keepers out there knowing about this one as well Okay, what species would you recommend to a beginner? Not Lassius Niger's, I've already got two. Um, okay, so you're over in Sweden, wasn't it? Sweden? Um, now, European ants, I'm not too sure, but uh, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have some carpenter ants over there. Uh, maybe you guys in Europe can let me know if you've got carpenter ants. Or, um... ah, Tycho, you're in Sweden. Hello, Mayo. Hang on, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Do, do, do. Bear with me a second. Keep you guys entertained this morning anyway. Oh, yeah, he's from Sweden. There you go. Beautiful. 
Yes, um, Daniel Stan Norway, welcome. Fantastic. We've got lots of uh, people here from um, from Europe, which is great, from all over the world. Fantastic. I appreciate the time you guys have spent to uh, join me here. Um, now, yes, so if you're over in Europe and you're a bit of an experienced end keeper over there, can you let um, let us know what do you think is a good a good one um, to keep as a beginner, a good species? Um, I know carpenter ants are fairly fairly easy. They might be a little bit slower growing, but they're nice, easy species uh, to keep as well. Oh, snap, you made it. Awesome, mate. Thanks for joining us. Excellent. Okay, now a little bit get into a couple of questions in a second but a little bit of what we've got here so Mimesia pilaventris colony here fantastic donated to me by ants Canberra which is fantastic now if you can see this let me have a look because she's just out and about there she is down in the bottom left hand corner let me tilt it down a bit here there is the queen just there Okay, right there. And cover up. So there she is. She's nice and big, isn't she? She's beautiful. Now, <clears throat> I'm not heating these ones um, at all, Simon. Um, so this is just natural in the natural setup. It is summer here, even though it is cold and raining and all that sort of thing here at the moment. Um, but yeah, no heating with these guys. Just trying to keep them natural at the moment. Now, what I want to show you guys is something that I have had in this species so I'm just going to move the camera up so forgive the poorness of the quality here and do you see that a queen a light how awesome is that so right there in the center if you can see her there she is a queen a light which is so exciting um, really good, really good to have. Now, I've actually got three of them in here. I've discovered another one this morning when I was setting up. Um, so that's cool. So we've got three Queen of Lights. There's no drones, but we've got the Queen of Lights, which is interesting. So we're going to um, see how we go with these ones, see if we need to release them or not, or we can find some way to breed them. Stay posted with that one. Okay, so there's three. Now, the different sizes. This one here is, is quite... Quite a big one. Whoops, where is she? There she is. She's quite a big one. There is another one about the same size. And then we do have one that's slightly smaller. So, yeah. But this colony is doing quite well. Really happy to have this colony. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. So you can see them. There we go. All right. Now, let's have a look here back in the questions. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Up to 33 in the stream. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, Tycho, Formica Rufa, maybe. Okay, pretty fast. Really stress sensitive. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, Lassius, Fidole. Fidole is always a good species to keep as well. Um, they're pretty cool because they've got those, those mages as well. What do you think of the new Oz Ants Waitong design? Yeah, I haven't actually seen one, got my hands on one yet. Um, but I actually really like it. I like the step design, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and it makes them a bit more versatile depending on what species you want to keep. If you've got a smaller species, that's nice and easy. But even if you've got um, larger species of ants like we do here in Australia, it's still suitable to a lot of those as well. So, yeah, I actually quite like it. Um, Super Bull Ant, currently producing a late, got a few in the last day. Yeah, yeah, that's great, eh? Um, it's good to be able to have a colony of a size where you can get some of those elates going. It just adds a new new concept um, to ant keeping as well, which is cool. Um, Daniel Stan, Odonto Panera Transversa. I am super jealous of you, Dan. Daniel, um, Daniel Stan, I would love one of those and uh, hopefully get my hands on a trapjaw ant eventually. One of the species anyway. Don't I'm not too fussy. One of the cool ones, uh, the cool big ones would be nice though. Okay, um, let's have a look here. Um, got drones. Do you have any other pets? I don't. No other pets that I deliberately keep. My daughter has some imaginary pets, which is always fun. Um, I do have to look after them too. Every time she goes to school, she tells me I've got to look after them. So yeah, that's always interesting. But at least the food bill's fairly small for those ones. Ants check. 
Greeting from Chechkia. Nice. Awesome, mate. Welcome. Thank you very much. If you haven't seen his um, channel, go and check him out. <coughs> go and check his Instagram out and that. Fantastic. Okay. Um, now, have I missed any other ones here? Okay, let me come down here. Half Flash Dom. Welcome along, mate. Glad you made it. Hang on. Um, fantastic. Okay, up to 33. Now, any other questions about these guys before we move on to the next species? <coughs> Gamer Bros, do nocturnal ants have nuptials at night? Hmm, interesting. Um... <coughs> Generally, well, my main experience has just been with the banded sugar ants. Now, they normally come out on dusk and forage at night. Um, so those ones actually have their nuptial flights at night as well. So it could perhaps be uh, the same there as well. Um, yeah. Okay, Mr. R, how can I make a simple homemade ant nest? <coughs> Depending on what you want to make, um, you can... Use Waitong, just a piece of Waitong. You can pick that up at Bunnings. You can get a large slab for like 4 or $5, um, which is pretty good. And you can carve a nest up on that. And then you can use anything, any sort of perspex. You can hot glue it down on the top. Um, if you're not looking to make, you know, to get magnets or anything like that, just at least to get you started, that's not a bad option. Um, you can do that. You can carve it out. The beauty of that is you can make the nest as big or as small as you want. You can use your imagination and carve up exactly what you want. Um, this is the Waitong nest here currently on the screen from Oz Ants. So from Ant Keeping Depot there. Uh, fantastic website, guys. If you haven't checked it out, go and have a look at that as well. Um, the other option is you can make a plaster nest. Um, that's quite good as well. I've got a video on making a plaster nest. So by all means, go and have a look at that one as well. <coughs> um, and check that, that tutorial out. That's not too bad. I haven't actually put <clears throat> any colonies into plaster nests um, for quite a while. I originally had my Retida Panera Metallica colony in a um, plaster nest, and yeah, they did they did quite well, but they just outgrew it, so I've just moved them now into a um, Waitong. Yeah, which is good. So I hope that helps, Mr. R. And then if you're looking for an outworld, mate, these, these containers, hang on, I'll just pan up for you. Containers like this. Just the basic Systema container are really good. They're cheap. I just wait for them to go on half price, although they have changed their range a little bit, which has upset plenty of ant keepers here in Australia, because um, this old Systema is a nice, clear, hard plastic, and is beautiful for keeping ants in as well. Um, but you can buy plenty of outwelds, but if you're looking to do it on the cheap, any plastic container, just need to drill a hole or use some scissors to make a hole in the side of it. And then away you go, and you can just hook up your nest to that. So I hope that uh, helps out a little bit, um, Mr. R. Try that one anyway. <coughs> um, exotic ants, how long is it from egg to worker? Now that's something I haven't really timed, um, but I've, it's a good, a good couple of months um, in the right circumstances. And it's always a bit of a tricky question because... You need the temperature just right, the food's got to be just right, your humidity, there's a lot of factors that go into it um, to make it right. But generally, with bull ants, it can take quite a bit of time to get to the worker stage. Um, so yeah, you're probably looking at a good couple of months for bull ants. Um, anyone else out there got any more experience with that? Um, let me know. Um, how many are in there? Uh, there's probably around about 150 workers um, in here, Jacob. Yeah, 150 workers or so. Most night ants fly at night. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Paul, for that. Okay. If you haven't checked out um, Paul and his website there, um, check it out as well. So that's um, Ant Shop Oz. Sorry, mental blank there. Ant Shop Oz. Um, check out his um, website. Um, if you are keeping bull ants, he's got the bull ant den, which is really nice. Um, I've got a really successful colony of um, Mimesia nigrosyncta going in there. I've got three workers now, guys, so the update video is coming out on that one soon. So it's really good, fantastic to have. 
Um, okay, City Ants. That's a good comment here. I don't know if you guys have seen this one here. Now, I haven't heard of this before. So he just says here, the foraging deolate in your banded sugar ant colony may be a brachypetius queen, which is when an elate has underdeveloped wing muscles and they tend to break off their wings and forage. Yeah, that's, that's interesting, actually. Um, look, it fits the bill because she is quite small um, compared to the other ones I've had, so that could be right. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research into that. Uh, thanks very much, City Ants, for that comment. I really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> Jacob, are these ants aggressive towards any prey such as crickets? They're not that aggressive. Um, they do have a go at me. Um, when I open the lid sometimes, they do chase me around, but they're not that aggressive to crickets when I put them in. Generally, though, I kill them before I put them in, so... Yeah. Um, Dom, almost at 2k subs. Been a big journey. Sure has, mate. <laughs> it sure has. And it's nice to have everyone along with me and joining me. Oh, looks like a few people have got to go. See you later, Ants and Pets. Great to have you along, mate. Appreciate you being here. Okay, now let's get into a few more of these questions. They're flooding in this morning. Connor, good morning, mate. Connor War, thanks for joining us this morning. Okay, so yes, um, Ants Check. I'm in New South Wales, a couple of hours north in Newcastle, uh, Sydney. Actually, a little town outside. So big shout out to Maitland if you live in the area. Maitland, New South Wales, just a small, smallish town outside, just west of Newcastle, a couple of hours north of Sydney, in New South Wales, Australia. Okay, I have a drill, but it can't get through plastic, Jacob. Yeah, um, you've got to be careful because you can split your plastic. If it's a soft plastic, um, it'll probably work okay, but if you do have a bit more of a brittle plastic, you can actually crack and destroy um, your outworld. Sometimes scissors help. Um, you can just maybe heat them up under a tap, uh, tap of hot water for a little bit, just be careful. Um, and then you just wiggle that back and forwards in your plastic container. But you've got to be, got to be careful. Okay, bull ant egg to work at five to eight months. There you go. See, it's a long journey. It's a long journey indeed. Um, I've had a few which have gone a bit quicker than that. Um, but yeah, it really depends a fair bit. But it is a long journey with those ones compared to a lot of others. And that's why... You don't see a lot of huge bull ant colonies um, in captivity. A lot of people just give up. Um, exotic ants. Okay, let's have a look here. How's your Mimesia nigrosyncta queen? Yeah, they're doing really well, actually. Um, one started to lay eggs, which is great, and the other one has three workers now. So what I might do... Um, have you had any guests question your ants? Hmm, interesting. What do you mean by that, lost Gopnik? Not sure about that. Okay. Um, are you worried this nest is too big for the colony? Them dumping the garbage inside the nest? Sure am. Yep, it's definitely a little bit too big for the most nap, but I'm going to leave them in there anyway. Um, we'll just see how they go. <clears throat> Hopefully that will change eventually, um, and I will branch out into that. There's been quite a few... Um, hatching which is nice and hopefully that'll just continue with the eggs there's a new couple of piles of eggs which is great so hopefully they'll expand out into that um, okay now I need to do ants poo Dom they sure do mate they sure do <laughs> um, yeah and hopefully they don't poo inside your nest um, that's never good because that can encourage mould and that to grow. So, yes, you just need to be a little bit careful of that. Um, it's a good good thing to to sh to show that your nest is too big if they start um, pooing in the nest. Just for fun videos. G'day, mate. Thank you for joining us. Um, Super Bull Ant. Mate, it's great having you here. Um, Super Bull Ant. Um, Paul, he's got a lot of experience in ant keeping. Um, so, yes, yeah, small mimesia are a lot faster than the larger ones. Yep, spot on. Very good. Okay, should we get in and have a look at some other species there? 
Um, view from down here, meat ants, how they're going. One worker die randomly. Yeah, they're doing all right now, but it was pretty bad there for a little while. So I had three workers um, and they all died. Actually, no, two of them died, sorry. One lived, um, don't know why, just completely randomly. Um, but now it's back up to two workers um, and they're doing quite well. So I'm just leaving them alone a little bit. I thought perhaps I disturbed them a little bit too much there, checking on their development. So I've just left them alone for a little bit. And we'll see how they go. Now we're gonna have a quick look at the golden tail sugar ants, the Campanotis aneophilosis. So we'll just move over there briefly, guys, so just bear with me a second in the chat. We'll get to some more questions in a second. So goodbye, let's try not to get my foot. And here we go. Okay, I'll just line this one up a little bit for you. You see that all right? Now, I will adjust that a little bit in a second. We shall get to that. Okay, you can still hear me all right? All right. So, this is, if you, if you don't know already, this is my first queen that I ever caught, Queen Abigail, um, Golden Tail Bull Ants, so over three years ago. And the colony is doing really well. Um, there's a lot of eggs, a lot of brood here at the moment. Um, yeah, which is fantastic. Mr. R, do you know how long it takes for a sugar banded ant to hatch? Um, again, this is this is a pretty tricky one. Um, you're probably looking again at a couple of months for those ones. Um, we've had the I've had the eggs develop quite quickly when the weather is nice and warm, um, which is good. But yeah you're looking again up to those those couple of months um okay view from the outworld one person yep we can show you that one as well <clears throat> what i'll do is i'll just tilt this down a little bit we're at 35 people let's try and get it up to 50. never know let's have a look here okay so these guys have got um soldiers in them here as well try and get a little bit more light in there as well try and adjust it a bit so you can sort of see it so we'll get a we'll get a shot of the outworld as well so we'll see what that's like Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay. Now this colony, um, this colony is just that single queen. About three years ago, I had a massive die out when she was about 20 workers. Fed them a uh, cricket that I found in the garage. I'll never do that again. Killed all but the queen and two workers. But they've made a great recovery and uh, yeah, they're doing really well now. So we've got some great brood. Uh, good size um, species to keep. You'll see they've got the soldiers there, and they've um, got the just the workers, so the two classes there, which is great. Um, now these ones, the golden tail, again, it's because of the little fine hairs um, on their abdomen there. They give them that golden gaster. Now the queen is completely black though, completely jet black. Um, so yeah, sometimes um, you can catch those queens and not think it's one of these. Um, but the Queen, yeah, the Queen does not have any of those golden hairs, which is pretty interesting. Okay. Now, what have we got here? What have I missed out in this chat? Um, development have we here? Um, yep, we'll get to the Retardo Panera Metallica colony. I'll get that one set up. Um, it is just the one Queen there, Jacob. Yep, that's for sure. Um... 
fucking multi queens. Yeah, multi queens. Okay. Yeah, that'd be interesting actually. Multi queen setup. Um, how long is it? How long people want to know here for for hatching as well? They're very similar as well. Um, I don't often time a lot of mine because I find that they they lay their eggs, um, they develop fairly quickly, but then they lay more eggs, and yeah, it gets rather confusing as to how soon. Um, especially when you have just the queen looking after a brood and then when you have workers looking after a brood obviously the workers are a lot more intent in getting the colony up and running so it can be quite different for time wise now we'll just pop off the lid on the outworld these guys always go crazy when I do that and we'll just pan up look at the outworld there a bit as well see that right there just get that lighting a little bit better. How's that? That look alright? So you can see a little bit of the outworld there. Again, need to do a little bit of work there on them as well. But we'll see how we go. Time is always a bit of an issue. Okay, Tycho, it's really had to go. Oh boy, ton of stuff to do tomorrow. No worries, mate. Thank you, Tycho, for joining us. Fantastic, mate, to uh to have you here along with us and joining it. I really appreciate it and yeah, have a nice day tomorrow. And yeah, we'll be doing more of these live streams as well because I think if you guys love them and I just love uh, spending the time um, hanging out with you guys and answering a few questions and you get to answer each other's questions, which is really good as well. So thank you very much. Um, okay, Super Bull Ant, setting up a multi-queen, do it from the start, don't add it on later. Yeah, yep. Yep, totally agree with that comment. Um, if you're going to do that, do it right from the beginning so they don't fight. If you introduce a queen into a colony like this, um, yeah, they'd probably kill her. Yeah. Okay, who else have we got coming along here? Do you know if there are any bull ants that I could catch in Sydney? Mr. R. Uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of bull ants. I mean, I haven't been searching for bull ants down in Sydney, but there are plenty of species down there. So definitely have a look around. Um, one of the things you can do is just go exploring um, and find what colonies that you do have out there. That's probably the best way to do it. And then you can search um, around for the nuptial flights and see how they're going as well. Okay, oh, welcome along Happy Ant UK, fantastic to have you here, welcome, welcome from the UK and Ansalanta, excellent, hey, late but you're here, so fantastic, thank you very much. Okay, alright, where are the bandaged sugar ants? Oh yeah, they're, they're sitting there nicely, we'll go and have a look at them soon. Um, do you have black-headed sugar ants? Um, I don't actually. Um, I don't have any of them. I wouldn't mind one. Uh, very similar to the banded sugar ants. Um, I assume you mean the nigriceps, Campanotus nigriceps. Um, so yes, we'll see how we go with that one. Um, okay. There you go. Amazing Animals Australia. Eight different species of bull ants. Northern Beaches, Sydney. So yep. It's definitely um, a good area to be in around New South Wales, around Sydney. Um, there's a lot of bull ants. When will you do a face reveal? I don't know. I mean, nobody wants to see this. Let's see how we go there. <laughs> yep, I've got a few escapees. Actually, one is making its way into my banded sugar ants. Looks like. Here's a tip, guys. Make sure you keep up with your flu on. Or yeah, barrier to keep those ants in place. There we go. Escapee back in. We, oh boy, we got lots of them. Definitely need to uh, do some work here. I'm going to have to put this lid back on at this rate. Let me just show you how crazy they are in there. Here we go, there's the outworld. There's plenty out there today, which is pretty cool. As soon as I took that lid off, they just wanted to go and forage. Yeah. So there's the banded sugar ants in the back there, in their colony as well. Doing quite well. We'll have a little look at them in a little bit as well. So there we go. There's the outworld for this colony. 
and the nest. So you can see we've got a nice huge pile of brood in the bottom left hand corner filling up quite a bit here. A lot of cocoons ready to hatch so I think we're going to have probably 40 or 50 more um, workers coming in soon. Alright we'll just put this down again. Oops. Sorry about that for the bit of the shake. Got another escapee. Back in you go. I'm going to put the lid back on here and I think after this I'm going to do some lawn update. Put the lid back on that. There we go. There is ventilation in the top of that um, outworld as well. Okay. Ooh, it was a bit touch and go there for a minute. Um, have you missed much? I just showed um, earlier, if you've just joined in, we just um, had a little look at the uh, the Pilaventris colony. Just move this up a bit closer. We just had a look at the Pilaventris colony. Um, I've got a lates there, Queen of Lates, so that's what we missed this morning. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, why are Campanota species in Australia called sugar ants rather than carpenter ants? Yeah, well, in, here in Australia, I think it's just because they love their sugar. They're renowned for anything sweet, eating anything sweet, so that's very popular with them, and I think that's why they get their name. Um, as opposed to carpenter ants, which I, I think overseas and that they're found in in the wood and in the trees and nesting in those areas. So I think that's why they get their name, the carpenter ants, as well. Okay. How do you do your DIY setup and cilenta? So what I do is I get these Systema containers, um, drill the holes in to suit whatever nest I'm going to connect up, and then I just basically lay a thin thin layer of sand at the bottom of the nests. Keeping that dry, made a few mistakes there before, keep it nice and dry so they can't dig in it. And then I just decorate it how I feel. I like to give them a little bit of something rather than just a boring sand and no rocks and that. So I do add a little, few little things to the bottom of that, which is good. Um, and custom nests, um, I've only really made that one custom nest. Uh, most of the other ones I have bought. Um, I love these Oz Ants acrylic nests. Um, they're really good. I haven't seen the bull ant dens as well if you're keeping those species and they're, they're good also for other species of ants uh, not just for bull ants so check them out as well um, now what else have we got here um, use a cotton ball to get them back in yeah just use my little yep Oop, we have a little bit of a streaming lag at the moment is that well, I think we're back up okay yeah they love their sugars beautiful Game of Bros, uh, live in Sydney but can never see any Mimesia. Sometimes you can walk around heaps of times and not see them, but it just takes uh, different times of day as well. Some species only come out at night to forage. I actually don't see a lot of bull ants around where I am, um, but I know they're there. Um, I just need to go a bit hunting a bit more, I think. Uh, to WWB, fantastic mate, thanks for joining us. You're late, but you're here. All good, all good. You made it, that's the main thing. Okay. Any bulldog ants? Mm. Bulldog ants, bull ants, same sort of thing really. Jacob, um, all the different styles. Oh, the ones that are mo that are found mostly in WA. No, I don't really import them over this way, so yeah. Do you do giveaways? Certainly do, Ants Atlanta. In fact, I've just finished doing the giveaway for a high-tech ants medium nest. Um, I've drawn the winner already, and I'm just finishing off the video, so I'll release that probably uh, tomorrow. It'll come out or the next day. I'll release that one for everybody. Ants check, yeah, thanks mate. Thanks so much for having us, uh, joining us here as well. It is a bit late over there in Europe, so I really appreciate you guys joining me. All the best, mate. Okay. David Powell, welcome along. Can you make a new series of ants, like a Battle Royale series for bulls? Hmm, interesting. Hey there, I'm currently keeping Miss Manicia Naga Scarpa Queen with a couple of larvae starting to cocoon. Just curious how long they usually stay in this at this stage, a few weeks or months. Uh, Brenton, yeah, they can last. They can um, stay in that for quite a while. Uh, Naga Scarpa is quite a big uh, bull ant. 
So they'll stay in those cocoons for quite some time. And don't be alarmed if they, if the queen actually drags the cocoons out of the nest as well and dumps them. I've had that happen plenty of times. Uh, sometimes they just don't last and they will um, just let them go. Geordie boy, thanks for joining us, mate. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. So David Powell, if you're still there, <coughs> um, just want to make sure what, uh, what you're talking about there for a Battle Royale series. But what I'll do, how about we look at another colony, eh? Let's set up another colony. I'll just put the red shield over the top. Make sure they're not too scared. And let's set up <coughs> another colony. Bear with me a second, guys. Um, so, oh boy, that's never good. Never good when you move your colony and the uh, tube comes out. Anyway, can't win them all. Part of ant keeping. So let's set up. How about we set up the Retardo Panera Metallica? I know you guys have been wanting to see that one. Um, do you show deaths of bugs or is it child friendly? <laughs> uh, okay, no worries, uh, David. Yeah, look, sometimes I put a cricket in there and it, it's not quite dead. Um, or I, yeah, tried to chop it and it didn't quite work. And it's running around in the outworld. And um, if you've seen my Keeping Banded Sugar Ants, I've actually captured that um, in that video where the cricket wasn't quite dead and the workers just went crazy in there and yeah they finished her off pretty quick finished that cricket off pretty quick a lot of workers went running out into the uh into the outworld bear with me a second i'll just get this colony Okay, so Retido Panera Metallica. Um, quite a renowned species um, to have. Now, let me just check, make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, okay, I snap, put a bunch of different species in a tub and let them fight to the death. No, I don't want to do that really. Um, bunch of queens in an outworld and other bugs see as they fight other colonies. Um, Okay, next colony. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay, what I'll do is I'll just get this set up a little bit better. See that all right? I'll zoom in a bit and get that a bit closer as well. How's that? You can sort of see a little bit inside the colony there. So Retardo Panera Metallica. Whoa! Don't bump your camera, guys. <coughs> I can hear your thongs. <laughs> Good old pluggers, Aussies. All right. Okay, yeah, the fluffy thing is my microphone. Just gets rid of a bit of the background noise and yeah, it's a pretty good one. Let me just move that a little bit better. Just so you can see a bit more of them there. Okay. And planned on showing you this uh, this colony, guys, so just bear with me while I just set it up a little bit better for you. Definitely need to get a better camera set up. Okay. Mostly Mimesia, hi. Thanks, mate, for joining us. Good to have you along. Okay, yes, um, so David Powell, just to answer your question there, I am not too keen on putting a lot of ants in, especially queens, and letting them duke it out and fight it out. Um, I like to keep the colonies alive and, yeah, basically expanding the different species. I don't want to see them kill each other. One thing I would like to do is actually have two species in one outworld, so a nest on either side and a common outworld. But what I'm going to do with that is probably have two completely different species so they don't fight and kill each other. But I think that would be quite interesting um, to have. So one day I'll probably set something up like that. Ants Kingdom, welcome along. I'm um, doing really well this morning. Yeah, having a good good morning. Oh boy, my wife's on. It's never good. This could be dangerous. 
Welcome along here though. Okay, now, Mimis, uh, sorry not Mimisia, Retida Panera Metallica. So green ants, quite common here um, in Australia. Renowned for stinging people and ruining, uh, ruining their picnics. Um, they they actually their, their sting is actually quite painful. Um, some people it could probably cause an anaphylactic um, anaphylactic shock. So be really careful with that. Um, I know when I collected queens in a nuptial flight, I got stung so many times on my finger that it actually went completely numb and was was numb for quite a while. Um, nothing like a bull ant for sting, from what I understand, although I've never been stung by bull ants yet, and I don't plan on it. Um, but you never know, that'll probably happen one day. Um, now, these guys, these guys are pretty cool. Um, they dig a lot. Um, they dig a lot in the outworld. They've done quite a lot of uh, construction out there, which you guys may have seen if you've watched some of my older videos. Now, these are a beautiful ant to watch. Their metallic colour is where they get their green ant colour from. It's really beautiful and vibrant. I have had these drones that you can see in here, the male drones. Um, there's a lot of them too. Um, but I don't think I've got any queen elates. They're all the male drone elates. Now these are a gamagate species and they can have that. Um, <laughs> the view from down here. Talking about wives, I've got to go. Thanks, mate, for joining us. Good to have you here. <laughs> Exotic ants, they hurt. Yep, they certainly do. Oh, boy. TWWB, good to have you here, mate. Cheers, mate. See ya. Okay. Um, now, anything else you need to want to know about these particular ants? Now, this colony raised it from a single queen. Um, I did brood boost her originally when I did find some uh, cocoons but probably only about 20, um, and she's grown from there. Now this colony is probably at about, I don't know, three to 500? I haven't really started counting. Um, yeah, so they, they're expanding really well, doing really well. There's plenty of eggs in here. Um, and I think what I'll need to do though is give them a slightly better outworld. I'll show you the outworld. Let me know what you guys think. They've done a lot of digging and messing up in the outworld here. One of the beautiful things about this species is they can't climb smooth surfaces, so I don't even need to put the lid on the outworld and they, they won't get out, which is great. And I'm sure if my wife's still listening, she'll be happy to know that they can't get out. Let's have a little look. So there we go. This is the outworld. So they've had a quite a big dig out there really kind of messed it up and ruined it but hey that's what ants do they love to dig so I'd like to give these guys a new outworld and actually um, maybe you have a bit of design in there maybe some plaster um, make some mountains and some rocks and different sort of things for them to climb on but so they can't destroy it but so they've got a pretty cool outworld maybe a little sand pit for them to dig in as well we'll see how we go um, yeah they are really nice they're pretty cool species. So let's have a, I'll just put it down here for a second. I'll see if we can um, zoom in a bit more. It's probably going to, it's probably not the, not the clearest picture, but you kind of get the idea. A little bit closer up on the species there as well. You can see those male drones. See in the back there, or the top of your picture, the clusters of eggs that are stuck together as well. And we've got some larvae in the back there as well. So they're doing really well, expanding really fast. Fantastic. Okay, let's just have a little look back at the uh, chat here, make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay. I never find a late, so I just find drones, Jacob. Yeah, you keep looking, mate. If there's drones around, there's got to be a late around somewhere. Definitely are. Um, Mr. R. Got to go, going to build your nest. All the best with that, mate. Um, send me a photo, Mr. R. Um, send it to novoants at gmail.com. Send me a photo of your nest when you've made it. Really, uh, really keen to see how you guys go with your nests and how you build them. It's beautiful to see, and it's an awesome community of ant keeping. Um, Happy Ant UK. Really want to get some of these beauties at some point. They cost the bomb. 
Yeah, they're quite expensive overseas. Um, even here in Australia, they are quite expensive. And I think that's because of the Gamma Gate reason that sometimes you don't have a lot of queens out there or they can be quite difficult um, to find. Um, use cocoa fibre pit. They will love to dig in that ants kingdom. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I should try some of that actually. Um, where did I get that nest? One person. Okay. Now, someone built it for me. Really, really good at building these nests. Does anybody else recognize this style of nest? This is a Coltrane nest. Coltrane. Um, now, if you go back and have a look at one of my videos, um, I sort of explain a bit more about this one, uh, this particular Waitong. So it's a custom-built Waitong, and he does a fantastic job of making them as well, which is really good. Uh, Ewan, how do you go about brood boosting? Okay, brood boosting for these guys. I don't overly recommend it because it means that you're going to be disturbing a colony in the wild. But sometimes if you're looking for queens and lifting up rocks and things, you might stumble across a colony. Then what you can do is basically just use a test tube and scoop up a few of the brood, um, the brood, the cocoons, either one. And what you do is you just put that in the nest. And what the workers will do is just naturally pick those up, take them inside the nest and the cocoons. Um, or if you have a queen, I just had a queen by herself, she'll actually start looking after them as well and they'll take on uh, the smell of the colony and they'll be fine. You may find that um, the eggs or the larvae, they may get eaten by the workers. So it's just something, uh, yeah. So there you go. How long, Amazing Ants Australia, how long till this finishes? I've got to go soon. Yeah, um, probably looking. I generally like to keep these around about the hour, hour long um, sort of show. Um, what I want to do is I'll just finish off with the banded sugar ant colony, Queen Scarlet as well, just to show you inside that. Um, yeah, have you ever fed your ants wolf spiders? Ah, uh, no. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Even if I was going to feed them, I just don't want to pick them up. And because of the spraying and the chemicals around here as well, um, I've just got to be really careful feeding them anything. I don't know where it's come from. So I try to avoid that as well. Okay, currently building, oh snap, currently building a large ant nest and a fish tank for my Metallicas. Yeah, send me some pics. That would be fantastic. Um, love to see some pictures of, of that, oh snap. Um, yeah, I've got another fish tank which is about two foot, two and a half foot long, which I'm going to build up into a nice outworld. I'm not sure, I might give it to my sugar ant, banded sugar ant colony for them to explore a bit more in, so we'll see how we go. I'm a wuss with spiders, I sure am. Oh, I hate them. Oh man, they give me the creeps. I'm a lot better now than I used to be. The only ones I like is actually the money spiders or peacock spiders, jumping spiders, those little ones. They're fantastic. Love them. If the colony ever needs a bigger nest, good idea is like a white tong nest and fill it up with cocoa fibre and they'll dig it out. Yeah, now that's something, Ants Kingdom. That's fantastic. Thanks for mentioning that. That's something I would actually like to try as well um, to expand it out or have a white tong where I can take a slider out when they get to a certain size. Um, I'll transfer over now to my banded sugar ants and you'll be able to see um, how they're going there in that nest. They've expanded quite a lot and they're going to expand more. So pretty keen to get a new nest going for them. Um, I'll build another white tong for them. So I'll um, show you those. And as I build that nest, I might um, show you how to build that one as well. Um, although most of you guys probably know how to build a white tong nest. But I'm happy to show you guys. May not be the expert. But anyway, Daddy Long Legs. Oh, yeah, they're all right. Daddy Long Legs aren't too bad. I'll squash them. All right, now I'm going to go and just set this one up. So bear with me a second. Won't take too long now, just here. Did you get my pluggers? Nope. It's good. Now, actually, I've got a question for you guys. If you're still there, I bought at um, Pet Barn. Now, Pet Barn is normally where I get my live insects, so my crickets and my mealworms. What I bought there was this insect enhancement gut load. I'll just put this on the screen. Where are we? I'll just zoom back out. Insect enhancement gut load. Have you guys ever used this? I'm interested to know. 
what I'm going to do is just feed my crickets uh, this and just see if it helps. I mean, it'll sure help keep them alive, but I'm just wondering if it'll be any good for my um, for the ants as well. We'll soon find out. I'll let you know how I go. But if have you guys ever tried anything like that, just to uh, boost the colony? Okay. Um, spider. Too much spider talk, guys. You're scaring me. <laughs> Seen a few people feed different gut loads. Okay, look at the ingredients. Yeah, everything there looks pretty natural. Um, I mean, it's to feed the crickets that then are given to lizards and different things like that, which are, can be fairly sensitive. So I think it should be okay. But I'll have a look. Um, yeah, it'll help the crickets anyway, if nothing else, and give them some decent food. All right. Let's do this guys, let's get this banded sugar ant colony up and running and then yeah, if you've got any more questions, happy to answer them and yeah, we'll probably end the uh, stream in five or so minutes. Okay, let's have a look here. Get that in there somewhere, it's going to be fun. Alright, transfer over, we'll do a quick flyover. There's a special colony underneath that one there with the stamps. You'll find out about that one hopefully soon. I've got to get that video finished. Let's come over here. Fluffy microphone. And what I'll do is... I should have put this one a little bit closer, I think. Bottle of water. Okay, so there's the banded sugar ants in there. How am I going to do this, guys? I wasn't ready to show these guys off. Be more prepared next time, Novo ants. Let me have it. Okay, let's put the microphone down there and let's just set this one up a little bit better. Somehow. And let's just spin this around. Okay. There we go. A little bit inside the nest. I will move that around a little bit just to show you guys a bit more inside. Let me just get this over here so I don't miss your comments. Reflection's not great, is it? Okay. Let's have a look here. Okay, Nolan, thanks, mate. Thanks for having us here. Good to, for you to uh, join us. Really appreciate it. The Pisces gut load can be placed on a carrot and used with your mealworms. Okay, awesome. That's interesting. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that, mate. Always trying to find a few little things a little bit different as well. Um, happy and UK, feeding fresh fruit and veg. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. It's generally what I do at the moment, but yeah, would be interested to, to know. Do you know if buying bird seed for seed-loving ants is a good idea, Gary? Thanks for joining us, Gary, too. Um, now, I've never done it, but what I understand is that you're better off using seeds that are for human consumption because you know that there's nothing on them at all. Some of the bird seeds um, I've heard can actually have um, block bacteria or other funguses or you never know what's on them. Might even have mites in the bird seed and that sort of thing. So best not to use it. Um, I would definitely buy seeds that are for human consumption like uh, chia, seed, chia seeds or sai seeds, however you want to say it. Um, sunflower seeds, things like that. I've also heard almonds and walnuts are a favourite for a lot of a lot of the ones that like seeds and nuts. So give that a shot. Yeah. Ant Park foraging mix in the shop. There we go. Okay, so if you're looking for anything like that, um, head over to Ant Shop Oz and they'll be able to help you out as well. Yeah, don't want to pull the uh, lid off that nest, Jacob. It'd be quite scary. Okay. Stodgenson. 
Welcome along, mate. Good to have you here. Doing really well this morning. Thanks for joining us. If you have missed the rest of the live stream, I will be putting it up uh, later on. So you can go back and you can watch some of that as well. Dandelion seeds are good. Um, so many people are leaving. Yeah, we're getting to the end of the stream. We didn't get to our uh, 50. We got up to, I think, 35, which was pretty cool. So that was really good. Okay. Have you had a problem with white fungus? No, I haven't. No, I haven't really had any problem. I've had a little bit of um, mold grow in the outworlds before. That's just because the ventilation wasn't quite right out there. Um, but no, it hasn't been a massive problem for me. Um, what I'm going to do, we need to have a bit better look at these guys. So let me find... How about we have a bit of a closer look at these banded sugar ants, guys? That's a bit of a finale for today. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. Good to have you guys here, and good to have some uh, some excellent knowledge here as well. So I really appreciate you joining me, um, Paul. There oh, with the footage at the moment we're still going guys just gonna set up and try and get a bit better look at these um these guys here let me just zoom back out a bit a bit shaky bear with me don't want to give you a face reveal can't do that tripod I should have used right from the beginning. Sorry for the shaky footage guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, how are we looking? How's that? It's a little bit better. Adjust that lighting around. I will get a better camera for you guys. For these streaming. Been looking into a few different options there, but yeah, slowly, slowly. Um, if you don't know and if you want to support the uh, the channel, by all means, you can head over to the um, um, whoops. You can head over to Patreon if you like, if you want to support the channel. Um, but guys, I just appreciate watching and liking my videos as well. Um, just gets the name out there as well. Okay, now let's have a look here. Are Campanotus concebrinus bigger or nigriceps? Nigriceps are bigger. Um, they are probably a little bit bigger, but not that much bigger. So, yeah. Okay. Yep, nigriceps. <laughs> Happy Ant UK. Thanks, mate. And a huge thanks to you, Happy Ant UK. Really appreciate your support over on Patreon. And, um, yeah, well, hopefully I've got some more little perks coming for you guys. And just got some things working out now um, so yeah um, stay tuned there happy ant uk i hope you enjoy what i'll be sending you okay let's have a look here gamer bros jacob and my were here for the entire stream yeah thank you so much appreciate that it's really good um okay the queen super majors yeah i know some of those super majors are amazing um they're so big you can see Hang on, let me have a look here. Let me move over here. One person, got to go. Thank you so much, mate, for joining me. Really appreciate it. Over here, let's go searching. Where'd she go? There she is. There's Queen Scarlet. Nice and plump. And you can just see the size of some of those majors as well. So this colony is doing really well. So as you can see, if I just see, there's a big major on top of the uh, cocoons over there too. Look at the size of them. Man, they're beautiful. So I'm going to just zoom back here a little bit. And you can see the size of the colony in this Waitong nest. Now they've got enough room in there at the moment, which is fine. But they are getting to um, fill it out quite nicely. By the time all of these larvae and cocoon hatch, 
we're not going to have a lot of room. And in the outworld, there's actually quite a lot of um, workers out there as well. So, yeah, by the time all that happens, I think I'm going to need to have another nest. So, yeah, we'll see how we go there. All right, Amazing Animals Australia. Yeah, thanks very much for joining me uh, this morning as well. How many ants? Ooh, I need to count these guys. Um, I, th I would say probably getting around about 400 workers in this colony, maybe a few more. I'll have to do a, um, do a count, actually. Um, Yo Gabba Gabba, thanks for joining us. Fantastic, draw some ants. Sounds good to me, sounds good to me. Stay tuned. Okay. Curious as to why no one fed feeder fish to their ants until I felt the smell. Yeah. <laughs> they stink, don't they? That's why I don't feed my colonies protein like uh, chicken or turkey. I've done it once before, but it just stinks. So, yeah, no, nah, gone away from that. All right, yeah, fantastic. So, this colony's doing really well. So, I've done the video on them. Um, keeping banded sugar ants so by all means have a look at that it's not fully comprehensive but at least it'll help some of you guys if you're starting a colony and it's nice to be able to share that um, i'll have to work on uh, keeping another species as well i've had the uh, green headed ants retida panera metallica how to keep them through the different stages um, one thing i'd like to try and do with this campanotis is do a crossbreed um, between two colonies so i'm working on that one now but just got to get the second colony up to size um, yeah, so there we go. Um, hope you've enjoyed the live stream this morning. It's been fantastic having you guys all along, guys and girls, joining me this morning. Um, I like to do these live streams just so everyone can have a bit of a chance to have a bit of a chat. Um, we don't really have any live streams. I don't know any other live streams that really happen on any ant channels. So I just thought, hey, let's get everyone together and have a bit of a chat and gives you guys a chance to interact with everybody so i hope you enjoy the live streams and um yeah we'll have some more of these in the future as well as we go along and yeah hopefully i can uh, show you guys a few more species that we have here in australia which is fantastic we've got some beautiful species it's about 1400 species in australia i don't think i'll ever be able to keep them all but hey i'll try and keep as many as i can and I'll keep my eye out for some of the other ones. I've probably got about a dozen different species at the moment. Um, but we'll see how we go. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks everyone uh, for joining me this morning. Um, appreciate your uh, questions and your chat. Um, everyone being really nice. It's a great community. So please help each other out um, with ant keeping. Uh, answer each other's questions because we've got a fantastic hobby. Um, thanks for the support um, and answering some of the questions uh, there this morning as well. Um, Super Bull Ant, um, really appreciate that, Paul, uh, for joining me, and thanks to everyone else as well, and especially to those ones who perhaps it's probably very, very early morning, like 1 a.m. in some places, so thanks for joining me and staying up late to join the live stream. All right, guys, thank you very much, and remember, happy ant keeping. <laughs>